Alltså kul och... Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a finale. I know this is a day late and the other ladies have already posted their finales. I have just seen them all and they did so good and I'm so sad that this is over because we have done this since like June or something so it's like over oh, half a year or oh, half a year. It has just been so much fun hitting pan and get some use out of our collections. I will show you the items I had in this project last month and the products I have hit pan on and then the products I have previously hit pan on that I have rolled out of the project. Please check out the other ladies if you haven't already. I have done this with Joy who created this and with Jilka and Amanda. So I'm pretty sure you know the ladies if you are into project panning at the moment because they are doing so many project pans and themed project pans. It's so awesome. So please check them out down below and they will always be linked in the description box. The first item is my Maybelline Culture 2 in On and On Bronze. And as you can see, I have hit pan and I have a good sized pan in this and last update I did have a good dip in it. I was pretty sure I could hit pan on this uh, by the finale today but I'm pretty sure this is like halfway full compared to other culture two so there's not that much product in this one. It's only up to here and I have not used the top if you know what I mean. I have only dug in the middle. But yeah, I have hit pan on it and I will definitely pan this next year. Then I have some uh, shadows, highlighters thingies in my C palette. The first one is my Catrice single shadow in on the top of the matte Everest. Yeah, I did hit pan on that one a long time ago. I feel like maybe a few weeks ago, but I did hit pan on that one and I was very happy to see that because I was a bit tired of using it. That was the two things that I have hit pan on since last time. It's so dirty. I'm so sorry, it's so dirty. <laughs> I need to clean it up. Then I have two items I have not hit pan on and I have had these in for a few months now. And it is my Manicada highlighter and bronzer. The highlighter I have a massive dip in and it is in my subscription box splits project pan so hopefully I can hit pan on it before the finale in that one um, but it has been so nice to work on it I love it so much for a highlighter the bronzer I have not used that much I have maybe used it once sin, uh, since last time but yeah I have a massive dip in it so hopefully I can hit pan on it by the end of the year that would be so awesome Now I'm going to go through the items that I have hit pan on uh, overall in this project. And I have hit pan on 10 items, I believe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm lying. I have hit pan on 11 items in this project and that is pretty cool. Uh, if you consider most of it is bronzer, highlighter and eyeshadows and... Stuff like that. The first thing I have hit pan on in this project is my e.l.f. eyebrow kit and I'm pretty sure I only put in the powder at that time around. So right now it looks like this. I had it in my heavy metal project pan and that's why I have this much progress on it. And uh, next year I'm pretty sure I'm going to work on it a bit more so it can be gone for my collection. In this product I put in two shadows from this palette. It is my W7 In The City Natural News palette. It was a part of my Panda palette for this year, so if you haven't seen that I will link it down below. So the two shadows I have added into this project was this shadow called Troy and then this shadow over here called Autumn. <laughs> I'm so happy about my progress on this palette overall this year. This product has definitely helped a lot uh, for the progress in this palette. Then my neutral looks bronzer <laughs> and you all know the story for this if you have followed along my channel. This is a beast to say the least. Did that just 
yeah, vote. I added this into my subscription box splits in the spring or something and I have worked on it since and you can't even tell except for the pan that I made by using it in my eyebrows. Yeah, I have used it a couple of times since I have hit pan but it's not anything amazing because I... I, I can only use it as a contour shade, it's too ashy for a bronzer over all my face and because I'm so pale, it doesn't really work out, you know, so yeah, I'm just really really happy about my pan in this product because it's so hard to hit pan. And I had my Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. This is one of my holy grail powders for setting my concealer. And since I had pen on it, I have of course finished it. Next year when I don't have any powders to set my under eyes, my concealer, I will definitely buy this again because this is the only powder that really, really works for my setting my concealer. Oh, and then I have this shadow and that was a part of my Panda palette. So I don't have it right now. It is in a bag in my makeup empties for the year and I'm not going to touch that. So you just get the picture here and the progress overall. I hope that's okay. And then I added in my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour and Palette Contour in Dolce de Leca or something. And I added in the highlighting shade <laughs> and I really like this for setting my concealer as well. And when you saw this last time, I actually hit triple pan, I believe, so I'm pretty excited about that. Then I added in a highlighter from my Makeup Revolution Ultra Pro Glow Highlighting Palette and I added in this peachy highlighter right here. It was over the summer, so I could get away with a bit darker highlighter and I hit pan on that and overall I have hit three pans in this palette this year so I'm pretty excited about that. The last item I haven't showed you yet that I hit pan on is my Chloro Vaseline. Vaseline? Vaseline? I don't know. But I did hit pan on this one. I love this as a lip balm. Let me put some on now. It's so smooth and does amazing things for like your lips and so. So I did have a pen on that one. That's everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed. So please check out the other ladies. They will be linked in the description box as I said in the beginning. Subscribe to my channel if you want to follow along my other projects and videos on this channel. I have a lot planned out next year. And if you were one of the guys who voted for my Panda palette next year and gave your opinion on what I should do and arguments and stuff like that, thank you so much. There has been over like 70 people who have given their opinion or voted for my Panda palette. So amazing. <laughs> I can't even believe it. I thought there would be like 10 people or something. I was so blown away. And yeah, thank you so much if you were one of those. And if you just watched my video, thank you to you as well. I hope you're excited for Panda Pal 2018. I'm very excited about it. And I will give you my intro in a month or so when uh, the new year starts. And yeah. Please take care and follow my Instagram if you want a sneak peek of the palette I'm going to pen next year because I'm going to make a sneak peek at some point. So yeah, so, yeah I hope you enjoyed and I hope you will take care until my next video. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.